So you probably know that cruciferous veggies like broccoli and cabbage and kale are really, really good for you and are kind of special in that they're better for you than most vegetables. But did you know that not all cruciferous veggies are created equal? In today's video, I'm going over a study that compares the anti-cancer activity and antioxidant activity of a bunch of different cruciferous veggies. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I am a full-time researcher with my PhD, and I like to share scientific studies here to help you reach your weight loss, nutrition, health, and fitness goals. If you follow me on Instagram, where I post a lot about what I eat and stuff, then you probably know I'm really into cruciferous veggies, and lately I've been addicted to cabbage. So when I saw this study, I thought it was super cool and thought I would share it with you guys. So I'm going to go over what the study found briefly, and then at the end, I will tell you some ways to get more of the best cruciferous veggies in your diet and how I've been doing so lately. The main compound that makes cruciferous veggies super healthy is called sulforaphane, and it's been shown to have really strong anti-cancer activity for all sorts of different kinds of cancers. So one of the main reasons to eat cruciferous veggies is to get more of this awesome compound. And in this study, the researchers compared the levels of sulforaphane and anti-cancer activity between a bunch of different cruciferous veggies. And the lowest levels of sulforaphane of all the foods they tasted, tested, <laughs> I'm hungry if you can't tell, um, was found in turnips and red cabbage. And then the next highest levels were found in broccoli and Brussels sprouts. And the highest levels of all of the super anti-cancer compound were found in green cabbage. So the order is turnip and red cabbage have a little bit, broccoli and Brussels sprouts have a medium amount, and green cabbage has a ton. And they also looked at the actual extracts themselves of these plants, not just for their levels of sulforaphane, but also for their direct anti-cancer activity. And they found that green cabbage actually did better at killing cancer than did the isolated sulforaphane. So we know that sulforaphane kills cancer, so we expect that to do a lot of cancer killing, but it turns out there's something else about green cabbage specifically that kills cancer even better than this super cancer killing thing. So this suggests that the best way to get your anti-cancer activity and your sulforaphane is to eat straight up green cabbage rather than any kind of supplements or anything like that. And they also looked at antioxidant levels in all of these cruciferous veggies that they tested. And unsurprisingly, they found that red cabbage had the highest level of antioxidants by far. And that's related to the fact that it's pigmented. So the thing that makes red cabbage red as well as other purple and red foods like beets and whatnot is actually a really potent antioxidant. So if you want your antioxidants, eat red cabbage. If you want your other anti-cancer compounds, eat green cabbage or do what I do and eat them both. <laughs> and what I do to get more cabbage in my diet just because I love it and it's been tasting really good to me. But now I get to feel even better about it because of all this good anti-cancer stuff and antioxidants. Um, is I buy bagged coleslaw mixes from Walmart and Whole Foods, which are the main grocery stores around here. They should have them everywhere. And I will just like dump them in a bowl and have them with dressing. So they make a great lazy work snack in the middle of the afternoon because it takes like three minutes to prepare. And for dressings, I am really liking them with mustard-based dressings. I've made avocado ranch to go on them and ranch in general. Vegan ranch goes really well, so. I also have been enjoying dumping them in pretty much all of my food lately just because it just adds so much good texture to everything, especially soup. So like I've been making this lemon lentil soup, having it with brown rice, and then dumping a huge pile of cabbage on top. I'll put a picture here. <laughs> here are two coleslaw mixes that I get in love. Unfortunately, this is not sponsored. But if I got a cabbage sponsorship, I'd be so excited. <laughs> so please sponsor me, cabbage people. Anyways, this is from Walmart. It's super thin and it's a dollar a bag and I love it, but it's not organic. So I balance out those, ugh, can't talk. So I balance out those $1 bags with these organic Whole Foods ones and it averages out to a reasonable price for my coleslaw mixes. So I hope this can help convince you to eat more delicious cruciferous veggies, especially cabbage. Please like, share, and subscribe if you liked it. It would help me out a lot and help get this information out there so everyone can be healthier and eat more delicious cabbage. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.